In the springtime, as you drive around Oklahoma, you'll see a lot of trees out in the, along the roadsides in the forest. They have these long panicles of white flowers. A lot of those are the black locusts, uh, which are native species to Oklahoma. However, you might once in a while find one that has these beautiful violet purple flowers. And this one here is what we call purple robe, uh, black locust. And uh, the nomenclature on this is a little confusing. Uh, some uh, claim that it's a cross between a, a couple of a species and some claim it's a cross between a couple of others. Uh, we believe that uh, the black locust, the pseudo acacia type, is, is one of the parents though. And so this is a great novelty, novelty tree for Oklahoma. And I say novelty tree because as beautiful as it is, and even though it may have some native parentage to it, it, it's, it's not probably the greatest tree and will probably, what, it would be what I would consider somewhat of a short-lived tree. Um, but when it's uh, in bloom and it's growing, uh, it looks spectacular. Now with the locusts, um, they can be suck, they can sucker a little bit and so that can be uh, a problem and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like the locusts is because they sucker and that be and become a weedy type of tree. Uh, some of them are th are, have thorns on them too, and this one's touted to be thornless, uh, and ours does seem to be thornless, though um, apparently some of them can have thorns on them as well. But in the springtime, they have these beautiful uh, violet-purple flowers, uh, panicles of flowers that look like, uh, remind you of a wisteria. If you're just looking for something to provide a little bit of pizzazz during the springtime, this might be a choice, but again, remember that it's somewhat of a short-lived tree. It has a potential for problems. It's not pest free. Uh, it can have borer problems and, and uh, um, root rots and things like that. In fact, this tree here uh, was killed to the ground and has come back. So that was, uh, you know, we're quite pleased that it came back and came back true to type. So that means it's growing on its own roots and has these beautiful purple flowers in the spring. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.